Hi, this is Mike McDonald coming to you from Bluff Spring Fen in Elgin, Illinois, and I'm here with a plant called White Snake Root. This plant is responsible for the deaths of thousands through the poisoning of the milk that people drank. It even killed Nancy Lincoln, Abe Lincoln's mom, back in 1818. You see, what happened is a couple years earlier, Thomas Lincoln, Abe's father, cleared woodland of all the trees and shrubs but left the herbaceous materials behind for the cattle to feed. That's what you do when you clear pasture. If you were farming it, you'd plow everything up. But they left the grasses and plants behind. Well, the cows would feed on this, and this is a very prolific plant and densely growing plant in the woodlands in the fall. Even now you see lots of it. And what would end up happening is you would end up having all these cows eating all this plant and filling up on the poison and then when the people would drink the milk the poison was in the milk and then they get sick too. 10 to 25 percent of them died. The other 75 to 90 percent they would get sick and have different problems but the reason they didn't die is because possibly the concentration wasn't that high in the milk or they didn't drink a lot of milk or they were just in better health. In some parts of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Virginia, and North Carolina it was the leading cause of death. And it was a mystery, so it scared people because they didn't know what was going on. Okay, so some suspected it came from the milk, but some thought it was bacteria, some thought that the cow ate poison ivy, something like that. But it wasn't discovered until 1927 that it was a toxin that was in the plant. So over a hundred years, it was a mystery. Nowadays, we don't have trouble with this sort of thing because, well, first of all, the farms know about it. And even if it were so, there'd be such a dilution because all the milk gets mixed together and stuff, so you wouldn't have as, it wouldn't be as big of a problem. Now, um, you can imagine a community freaking out over this because they don't know why people are getting sick. So say, like, uh, a family down the street gets sick and they call you over and they say, hey, come over, can you help us work the chores on the farm? You know, we're all sick, can you help us out? And they'd say, oh, sure, you know, being neighborly. Back in the day, everyone was helping each other so they could survive. And they'd come over and they'd help and they'd do all these chores on top of the chores they had to do at their own farm. And they'd come over to your farm and they'd do all this help. And you'd say at the end of the day, hey, why don't you have a nice glass of milk? And they'd say, wow, thank you, and they would, and guess what? They'd get sick and possibly die too. So, you know, no good deed goes unpunished, huh? So, hey, so have a safe, safe autumn, and don't go chewing on this plant, okay?